Hi there and welcome back to another episode about Driven by Moss for Reaper. I just released version 5.5 and I thought why not show you around some of the new user interface features which got introduced in the last version. You have now the possibility to put a shortcut on the window of Driven by Moss so you can quickly open it and you can also now close it with the escape key. And you can do that if you go to actions, show the action list and if you there simply search for driven by moss you will find this function and there you can assign any shortcut you like if you open up the window then you see you have now the list and they have now a checkbox so the idea is if you for example don't have a controller with you or you don't have it connected all the time here you can disable it so it does not take up any resources for example you can simply press press here the dis or enable button and if you do so it gets turned off and is not taking up any resources. Another thing is I cleaned up a bit the add button because it got very long the list so now it's sought by the manufacturer of your device and also here at the bottom there are the utility functions and there is now a new one which is the MIDI monitor and it's already here assigned so if you look at that it does a very simple trick you select here any input I selected here the push to so a MIDI input and then you will see it receives here MIDI data and locks it to the console for example also system exclusive data and if I press or play a pad you see I get the status information there it tells you what it received also the three bytes are displayed in hexadecimal and in decimal numbers also you see here you can do after the touch you can do cc information yeah that's about it and use it enjoy it and make some funky music <laughs> 